Hi everybody, um, back again. Sorry I've been away for so long but I didn't have a computer, I couldn't make any videos. But finally I've got a new laptop so I'll be making videos left, right and centre because I've got so much to review. Uh, today I'll be looking at the beautiful um, Harley Quinn statue from Batman Black and White line. Been looking forward to this for so long. It's uh, it's a bit of a strange one this, they are DC collectibles made a second batch of this months before this one even came out. Uh, I know Harley Quinn is a fan favourite but they could at least have waited until this one came out before doing a second one, just, just different slight grey tones on it uh, and I think the base is a bit different. But I think this one is going to be a very, very much sought after one. I don't know if the second ones are numbered or not. Not that that makes much difference to me. But this one is just such a beautiful design. I think it's only the second ever uh, female in the Batman black and white line. The first one being the Steve Rude Catwoman. The uh, Golden Age version. Okay, so it says here, the fun-loving uh, psychotic Arkham Asylum doctor turned inmate Harley Quinn joins the uh, best-selling Batman black and white line with this eye-catching statue designed by award-winning animator, artist and producer Toot Bruce Tim. I believe that he was the co-creator along with Paul Dini. Uh, she's an original character from the one of the best series ever, the Batman the animated series. Uh, she, both Paul Dini and Bruce Tim, then uh, did the brilliant uh, comic Batman Mad Love, which was pretty much her origin. And then Paul Dini and Alex Ross uh, introduced her into the DC universe with the one shot. Uh, at the bottom, Gary Frank and Batman, J. Lee Batman's coming up. I am getting the J. Lee and also the Neil Adams zombie Batman. I have opened this up. Uh, it is number, but I haven't looked at it yet. Just opened it up and cut it so it's, it'll make an easy review. It is number... 3073 uh, out of 5200 and I also have here my gorgeous uh, t-shirt that I also got today uh, I know the point of the Batman black and white is to do them in black and white but uh, this is one of the exceptions where this would look just absolutely stunning in colour maybe a con exclusive maybe that is the reason why they have sold out so quickly as people are buying doubles one to keep as is and the other to custom in um color to paint up because it looks just she is one of these characters that needs to be done in color Personally, I can't stand the new 52 version of her. I can't stand any new 52, really. Or the um, game version, Arkham City. I think it looks terrible. They are one and the same, really, I suppose. But that's just my opinion. Uh, I will get her out of the box now, so please hang with me. Okay, I'm back. So before I begin, I did get this at Red Hot Comics. A big shout out to Ivan and all the staff here. Uh, they are great for mail ordering. I can't uh, recommend them enough. So there is the number in case you're interested and you live in the UK. Uh, I'll link their Facebook page uh, down below as well. And also this video is dedicated to Christine, aka Figure Queen. Because I know how much she loves the uh, Harley Quinn. Uh, I never got the um, one six figure or the sideshow um, premium format. Just didn't interest me too much. And 
nah, just didn't feel it. But this figure, uh, to quote Curtis, I'm just blown away, guys. It is absolutely beautiful. It does come in three parts, um, two peg holes on her left foot, going easy as anything, and the little piece of smoke. I wish it would just um, go in one place, though. That does bother me a little bit. But, yeah, I am just... This is probably now my favourite piece I from the black and white line. I'm just absolutely loving it. I think it is just gorgeous. I love the um, creases at the back of her neck. If I can pick that up right there. And um, also there at the top. Again, uh, yeah, it would look absolutely fantastic in colour, but I'll take this as is. It's just absolutely stunning. It's just straight out of the uh, animated series. I'm sure that um, they've been doing a lot of... Um, reissues of the uh, early Batman black and white series um, I'm sure they're gonna re-release the uh, Bruce Tim Batman and I'll jump right on that uh, they've got to do um, an animated series Joker now to go with this to go she's got to have her pudding She's got to have Mr. J. It is just absolutely stunning. The base underneath just numbered as... I don't want to um, let that piece go, uh, fall out, but it's just numbered. Nothing special. But my recommendation is if you can pick this up for a decent price or get the second batch, do it straight away as soon as possible I love her massive gun that she's got there it is just absolutely gorgeous pick two up customize one have them next to each other oh I'm in love with this piece so much I got it down to perfection. Okay, I'm uh, slobbering all over this piece like anything. <laughs> you probably know that I'm in love with this. I'm so happy that I have this. And that's it. It's, it's just. They got everything right about it. I can't see any faults at all. There are just. Um, you probably can't pick this up. There's a bit of uh, just a paint. The paint isn't 100% decent on the base. Or. Uh, there. But. I'm not going to send it back or anything. I've got no qualms about that. The um, trouble of sending it back to Diamond and everything is just too much. I'm just happy to have one. Anyway, please comment uh, below. Uh, do you like the Batman black and white line? What's for your favourite one? Uh, what do you think of the um, Superman Man of Steel line? Do you think it will go this far? I think this is the 51st piece. The I've still got to review the um, Sean Murphy one. I got it in the other room. Should have bought it out, but I've I've got to review that one. 
Anyway, peace to all. Take care. Bye for now.